everyone and welcome to my first book review that is not about the Akatar series. <laughs> So today I'm going to be talking about three books, so the whole series. I decided to put it in one video just because I read them so quickly that I didn't even have time to absorb each and every one of them. So it's a series that I've heard a lot about. It is very highly recommended most of the time and let's get to it. So today we'll be talking about the Cruel Prince series by Holly Black. I am going to talk about it as a whole, tell you guys how I felt in regards to each of the books and rate them in terms of which one was my favorite, which one was my least favorite. Let's just dive in. So The Cruel Prince is a young adult fantasy book with a touch of romance, obviously. The story talks about both the human world as well as the fae world. So in the human world, it's very similar to our day and age. They have television, you know, cars and so on. But in the fae world, it's a little bit more old timey. So they don't really have television and things like that. It's like a, it's more of a fairy tale world. But the main character of the story is called Jude. And when she was seven years old, her parents were murdered, but her and her sisters were taken to the fairy world and this world is known as the High Court of Fairies. So despite her upbringing, despite the fact that her parents were murdered and, you know, she's a human girl, not a fae, she really, like, desperately wants to belong there. She wants to live in the fae world. She wants to have, like, a, a special world. She wants to have a special role. She wants to be strong. She hates how weak she is. And just to give you guys context, Humans are garbage for fairies, like they're absolute trash. They use them generally for their own amusement, for, you know, slaves and so on. Like they'll put like a magic spell, not spell, but like a trance on them. They'll just prank them and generally like fairy food can kill them or whatnot. Anyways, those are all details you'll get to learn in the book. But Jude is just really stuck on wanting to be a part of them, wanting to prove herself. And she is seriously such a strong-willed character she genuinely scared me sometimes she would be hurt and she would just be like going off onto the next adventure without even caring yeah, honestly i couldn't keep up with her i couldn't keep up with her she's so intense but she's a good character sometimes her intensity did get a little bit annoying but i still like her i still like her she's still really cool i think i'm straying off topic we'll talk about the characters after back to the summary and so in this High court of the fairy world. There's a royal family, the high king, who has like uh, I don't even remember, like a couple of sons, a couple of daughters, and he is about to step down from the throne. So the story talks about you know who's going to be the next king, who is going to take over the throne, and then obviously we have Jude's love interest, the cruel prince himself, who is known as the cruelest member of the royal family. He just genuinely doesn't care about anything. He generally just likes to drink alcohol and forget whatever it is he wants to forget. Yeah, so the three books kind of just follow their adventure. The struggles of royalty coronations. You also have like a lot of other members and players that come into play that might want to be taken over or don't necessarily agree with the decision. As a whole, it's a very, very political book. It's much more plot oriented than romance oriented for sure. Let's start off with the writing style. So for, as for the writing, it was really easy to read. Some of the words she used were new to me. I think that she does a good job at making you understand the world. Like you have a very good visualization of what it is and how the people there acts or how humans are treated you really like i felt like i was in the world did i like the world not as much as i like the akatar world but that's because i'm obsessed with akatar you know it felt a little bit darker i didn't really like the human fairy relationship i mean i understand they're supposed to see them as like trash and it's for the plot of the book it's necessary it's not that i didn't like the way she wrote the world don't get me wrong but like if you were to ask me if i'm gonna live in that world i would probably say no but that doesn't mean i didn't enjoy the book like it was so fun to read about it's still a whole new world that you get to ex experience at first i was a little bit overwhelmed because there was a lot of characters that were being introduced but eventually you get used to them 
and I feel like the character introduction kind of slows down as well. Like in the first book, obviously it's the most confusing because you're still getting to learn about like everything. But as you go on, as you progress, you feel more familiar with the characters, with the world. And when, even when a new character is introduced, I didn't feel as overwhelmed because now I felt like in my element. So there were a lot of characters that were <laughs> unlikable. Characters that made me mad, that made me hate them. But it didn't get in the way of necessarily enjoying the book. Like the bad characters didn't take away the enjoyment from the book necessarily. And uh, well, Cardin, the cruel prince, I don't know, he, he, I like him. I gotta admit, he, you, you, what am I saying? He does grow on you. I didn't hate him at first, you know, like I knew he was supposed to be cruel, like it's in the title of the book, so I wasn't shocked or anything. But there was a part, I won't tell you where in the series, but there was a moment where I absolutely hated him, but it didn't last long. It lasted like, just like until my rage went down and then he made up for it, so it's okay. So I'm going to go through each book without any spoilers. So the first book is a very different vibe, for sure, because it's more about Jude wanting to belong in the fairy world. It's more about her you know, trying to figure out what she's going to do, who she's going to be, and then you really get introduced to the world, the characters, you know, obviously as many first books are in a series, that's what it's focused on. But, and I hear a lot of people don't enjoy the first book as much, but personally I actually really, really liked it. It really wasn't as boring as I thought it was going to be because everybody was like underselling it. So it was actually enjoyable. More focused on Jude being at school in the fairy world and the ending is pretty intense, like suddenly so many things happen and it leads you to the second book where I feel like in the second book that's where it gets a lot more political. Like it still is in the first but not as much. The second book is actually my least favorite, but a lot of people love the second book. The relationship between Jude and Cardin kind of annoyed me in the second because there was a lot of going back and forth, even though their relationship was developing. And in terms of like plot, I don't know, like it was good. There was always something happening, but there was no ending point. It just kept going and going and going. And I do have to admit, maybe it's my least favorite because I hated the ending of the second book, but we won't talk about that. You'll have to read to find out why I hated it. And then the third book, The Queen of Nothing, this one is hands down my favorite in the whole series because it's the one with the most romance. It's the one where you actually see the finish line, you see where the story is heading, and that's when all the plans come together and I just found it much more exciting. So if I were to rank all three books, I would say Queen of Nothing as number one, The Cruel Prince as number two. I enjoyed the world building. It was actually enjoyable, and generally that's something I find like kind of boring, you want to get to the adventure part. And I think The Wicked King would be my third favorite in the series. You know, I feel like I'm gonna have to read them again and reevaluate, but for now, that's what it is. Ratings. So, let's start with The Queen of Nothing. I want to give it a 10 on 10 because it's a really great storyline and it was my favorite in the series, but if I were to think about it separately, it would probably be a 9 on 10 just because I want more romance. Like, I just want more Jude and Cardin moments. That was one of the most disappointing things about the book. Like, the romance is great and all. Um, the way their relationship builds is beautiful, but you just don't have enough of it, and you're just left wanting more. The Cruel Prince, maybe like 8.5 on 10, because I gave 9 to The Queen of Nothing, so I can't give 9 to The Cruel Prince because it's not as good. So 8.5. The Wicked King will go with 8 on 10. Yeah. 8 on 10 sounds fair to me. So when I was reading the series, I actually didn't think that I would miss the characters. I didn't think that I would want to reread it one day because it was enjoyable, but nothing that really marked me. But then when I finished it, I actually ended up missing the characters so much to my own surprise. And I feel like one day I will reread it. it it's definitely something I would reread because maybe this time I'll have a different appreciation of it. I'd like to like re-examine the characters, re-examine the world. And maybe it's because the third book I really loved it that it made me feel this way. I think if it stopped with the second, I wouldn't. But the third just like made up for so much. So if you're doubting if you should read it, I definitely think it's worth reading. 
it's it has a great plot you you're there's always something happening and like i said jude is just so intense so extreme she doesn't like rest for a minute so if you like badass characters if you like strong female main characters then this is definitely a book for you and if you enjoy enemies to lovers this is probably the biggest enemies to lovers ever because jude and cardin are just like at each other's throats half the time so that's it for the cruel prince series by holly black next time i actually have another series that i finished reading just yet last night that absolutely devastated me so i'll be reviewing that soon and there's a standalone i have planned as well so if you like this video please let me know in the comments below and if you read the series also let me know what you think about it because i would love to share opinions and see if you guys agree with me or not and make sure to click the subscribe button if you want to stay updated for when my videos come out you can also check out my instagram and tiktok and i will see you next time